Saturday the 9th of October 2021. It's a little after 10 past 5 in the morning and I'm just about to set off for work. So, got to a stint there, then nip home, quick change, back out for today's trip to Hartlepool. So, hopefully see you in a bit. Morning. Just after 11 o'clock on Saturday the 9th of October 2021. Made a quick dash from work, a quick change in the car, and I've made it, hopefully. So, first train is the 1118 from Peterborough Station, where I am now, up to York, and then I've got an hour, and I think it's the half past one train, which gets me into Hartlepool at 23 minutes past two. So, let's see how we go with this one because I'm knackered already. I'm seat B11 now. Oh, I 
Running two minutes late. We have arrived at Hartlepool. Please take care when alighting from the train and mind the gap between the train and the platform. This is a Grand Central service for Sunderland. Calling at Sunderland. Thank <laughs> you. 
This was the queue at about 25 to 3. Yeah, it didn't move for 20, 25 minutes. I think I finally got served about 5 past 3 and I got on the ground just before 10 past 3. So, yeah, wasn't happy. Quarter past seven and we just got back into York. So yeah, report later. I think I'm still trying to calm down because that was shocking. Absolutely shocking. Greetings from the 801 or the 2001. Back to paper, I'm sat in the doorway. The train is that big, the train is that packed, there's no seats, reservations are at the window. What a cut I'm only here today. I've just spent three quarters an hour queuing for the Burger King. So, I'm only here today, straight. Greetings from the 2001 train back to Bainbrook. From York, where I'm sat in the doorway because the train's been took over by the Hurray Henry, the Hurray Henriettas, and uh, hurrah, hurrah, the Champers is there living. So, no seats. I'm sat in the doorway. I'm finally got something to eat. Uh, I don't know, I've had enough today. Jesus, man, that's good. That was good. I've got so big. Station will be Peterborough. Next station, Peterborough. Quick CCTV update. Is in operation on this I've finally got a seat now. Security. The Hooray Henrys have buggered off at Doncaster. 
after Please literally ramming the train right. solid. Speak so I end up sitting in the doorway. Or text British Transport Police. Another hour and it's back to Peterborough. We'll sort it. And then I'll give me my final Say report. Say it. Sort it. In a bit. Peterborough some 10 hours after leaving this morning but fair due to the driver <laughs> fair due to him we left York five minutes late and he's got in Peterborough six minutes early so he shifted so fair play to him right be prepared for some swear words and I did my match report right it's a little after Half past nine on Saturday the 9th of October 2021 and I've been home about five minutes from today's game at Hartlepool. So, <laughs> summing up the day, what a bloody day it's been. So, you'll excuse me having a beer because I'm absolutely peeved off. So... Started up this morning with an early start at work. So I was up by past four this morning, done my stint at work, finished just after quarter past ten. So nipped home, quick change, back out, back down the station for eleven paper station for eleven o'clock to get the eleven eighteen. Train up to York, which because of a the line being shut between Newcastle and Carl, Newcastle and Edinburgh, it's diverted by Carlisle. So because it's going off route, there are no seat reservations. So I had a reserve seat, couldn't sit in my reserve seat. Luckily enough, I found a seat in front that I could sit in. So I sat in that. You know, we're all right until the uh, the Hooray Henrys come on at York. Oh, sorry, the Hooray Henry's come on at Doncaster. And they said, oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mummy Hoon's half of Yorkshire, you know, yeah, yeah. So, getting to York at half 12. My train out to Hartlepool was at half past one, so wasted an hour pottering around um, York Station. Walked down, waved to a few people on the... Uh, on the York rail, on the rail camp from York. So there you go. Thought about getting something to eat and I thought, well, no, 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 I'll get something when I get to Hartlepool. We'll be fine. I'm due in at Hartlepool at quarter past two. We'll be fine. So train rolls in, five minutes late. Set off for Hartlepool. Get to North Allerton. And because we were now seven minutes late, we were shoved behind a freight train. So we trundled all the way from there to Eagles Cliff, I think it was. Trundle, 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 trundle. Which made us ten minutes late into Hartlepool. So <laughs> my day was getting worse and worse. So they're so getting in at twenty part at about twenty past two. I got in just after half past two. Walk from there, literally just round the corner. You know, it's on here. You literally come out the station, up the, or go diagonally across, straight over, and you see the ground straight in front of you. Literally five minute walk, if that. So I walk down there, and I see this big queue forming. I thought, it can't be, surely. Yep, it was. The ticket queue. People queue for tickets. So, stood in that for three quarter of an hour nearly. I finally got served. There were two women served in there and they were doing the tickets for the, both the home fans and the away fans. And they're going, oh, well, we didn't expect all this many away fans to turn up. Yeah, thanks a lot. 21 quid later, 
I get in the ground at just before 10 past three. So I've missed the first 10 minutes. Went to get something to eat. Oh, no, no, we sold out of food, mate. Yeah, we'll be something about, some back at half time. So, thought, oh, yeah, you got anything to drink? Oh, no, we've got none of that either. Yeah, so. Get to half time. Go down to get something to eat and drink again. Oh, no, sorry, mate, we've sold out now. Oh, great. So, sat next to one of our, my fellow podcast uh, patreons members for the uh it's all coppers to me podcast thing richard so sat there and yeah sam oskin scored puts one up thought yep yeah, great here we go one little winner here three minutes later hartley pull equalize and i looked at richard richard looked at me and asked i said to him hartley pull are going to win this they're going to score within you know the last five minutes and I wasn't far out because 83 minutes, Etete up front decides to take on half their defence and plays a ball 15 yards back behind his fellow striker. Hartlepool goes straight up the other end, bang, 2 1 score. So I thought, yeah, typical. So my train back was at 5 24. So walk, walk back to Hartlepool station. Muttering under my breath and mooching and getting up with a flack off the, off the little chaps running around. But in order to get back, I had to go from Hartlepool to Middlesbrough and then Middlesbrough to York. So, get, I wait for that the train that came in to take us to Middlesbrough was ram packed. And I'm wedged in the bloody doorway, between the doorway and the toilet. To, until we got to Thornaby, I think it was, and it emptied out a bit. But, you know, I'm on the train back, pissed off, hungry, starving, because no, nothing was open in Middlesbrough. There was a there was a uh, Morrison's next to the ground, but I thought, well, I ain't got time to nip in there. I'll grab someone when I get to uh, Middlesbrough, because I'd... 25 minute change time so get to Middlesbrough get out the access path to the uh, where the, the big the, the little mi mini Tesco's is shut so you have to go to the other side of the station walk around this very great diversion got halfway around the diversion and I suddenly thought well I ain't gonna have time here so I turned around walked all the way back again tried all the machines in the, in the station none of them would take cash None of them would take credit cards. So then it says platform two for the, the 1821, which is the train I need to get from Middlesbrough to get to York. So we ended across to platform two. As soon as we got to the top of the stairs, they changed it. It's now platform one. So mooch back down the stairs. And back across to platform one and get on this train back to York, which rattled and banged for nearly an hour. And I thought, yeah, so I've got, I mean, my train out of York was at a minute past eight. So, got back into York quarter past seven. Thought, yeah, I'll get something to eat because there was a um, Burger King on the station. And I stood in the queue at 20 past seven and I actually walked away with my burger and something to and something to drink at three minutes to three minutes to eight, because all the Hooray Henrys and, and Henriettas and oh you have some Ruperts and Cordelia and all the Fortescue Smegs were hanging around and barging their way to the front. Oh, do you know who I am? You know, Daddy owns half of Yorkshire. You know, well bleeding toffs. So waiting for me train to come in because I got a seat in Coach F. And as soon as that train came in, all along coming the Hooray Henry's, they barged their way to the front. I went, excuse me, I've got a seat here. No, 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 no. Do you know who I am? Bum, 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 bum. Barge. And I ended up sitting in a doorway. Literally crammed into the, into a doorway between Peter, between York and Doncaster. So all the Hooray Henry's got out. And the Henrietta's. And you yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Daddy owns this. Oh, 
It pissed me off. And then I managed to get up and get into a, a decent seat between Doncaster and Peterborough. And then into Peterborough, he left, well, our train left York five minutes late and he got into Peterborough six minutes early. So motored, fair due to him. So drive, I'll drive home. I can't be asked to go to Tesco's and do my shopping. I'll go and do it Monday because I'm that miffed off. But, you know, <laughs> I spent 21 quid. I I saw the first half and behind a pillar. That's where they stuck all, all us late running fans. There must have been about 100 fans stuck outside. This was at quarter to three because they wouldn't take cash on the turnstiles. You had to buy a ticket and you were queuing up. And I was these two old biddies in the t ticket office. I think, you know, for those who know the Victoria Wood sketch, two soups, I think she would have been quicker than these pair. The queue was massive, you know. I got, I was lucky I got in there just before 10 past three. There were fans still coming in just before half time because these, these old biddies were flapping about. But hey ho. <sighs> the game was end to end. I thought, yeah, we'll take a, When we got 1 0 up, I thought, yeah, we'll take this. We'll sneak a 1 0 win here. No. Nope. As per usual, Cobbers referred to hoofball. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, as soon as, they could, as soon as we conceded, there was one winner. As soon as we went to 1-1, one, one, there was only going to be one winner in that, and it wasn't going to be us. So, And I think we've just set a record today because I think that's the first time a team has been beaten by two promoted teams in a week because we lost 2-1 at home to Sutton last week and we lost 2-1 away at Hartlepool today and both teams were promoted from the non-league. So, yeah. I'm quite amazed actually how I've got through got through this without swearing because I'm just pissed off. I've had enough. I'm not going to be racing around like a blue ass fly trying to watch them again away. You know, when the next away blog is going to be, I don't know. It could be Sutton. Cause Sutton's fairly easy for me. It's just a train into London and round the Sutton Loop or round the other side of the bloody loop, wherever it is into Sutton or Harrogate. That's if I decide to go. I'm going to sign off because I've had a rant. The yeah, apologies, there's not too much match footage in here because, like I said, I didn't get in until five minutes before, or 10 minutes after the kit game kicked off. And I didn't really get a chance to do any at half time because I got wedged behind a load of people and I was trying to, and I was in the queue to get something to eat. I've got a little bit at the end, hopefully, if it comes out, of the fans going with the team going over to applaud us and we're trying to applaud them, but whether they deserve it or not, it doesn't matter. But hey ho, this is one disgruntled cobbler's fan. <laughs>